Jake Adams and Reef Builders here at the Aquatic Experience in Chicago, and it's my good buddy Kevin Gaines. How's it going? Aquariums. Last time we caught up with you was in San Diego. Um, Biota had just launched its crowdfunding campaign. Tell us how that went. It went really well. We uh, we had a, a number of buyers, first time buyers, so that's really what we're excited to see. People that normally wouldn't get into the hobby, that are intimidated by the hobby, sticking their neck out and going for it. Very cool. You know, yeah. reef builders, we spend a lot of our time kind of talking about the bleeding edge, but uh, lately we've also kind of been taking a step back and really trying to be more welcoming into that next generation of reefer and saltwater hobbyists. Um, so tell us how the biota is a great first step for people to take into the marine aquarium hobby. Well, I feel like we've kind of distilled it down to the basics. We've taken a lot of the science out of it, which is very intimidating to a lot of people, and we've made it simple. So it's like a four-step process. This is what you need to do. Don't add anything else. Change the water. Use good seawater. Enjoy your aquarium for six months to a year and stay you know, in the hobby. A lot of aquarium kits are so-called all-in-ones. But these all-in-ones fail to include very basic things like yeah. salt, hydrometer, heater, thermometer. But the biota is the, the true all-in-one solution, right? It is. We really kind of thought about everything and gave it to different type of people to try and included even a little timer so that they don't leave the light on 24 hours a day for a week and wonder why their algae's out of control. So we tried to think of everything and keep it really simple. And yes, it is complete. It's the first tank to include not only the things you talked about, sand, rock, timer, accessories beyond aquarium pump light, but also live rock, fish, and corals. I have to confess that I'm just a little bit jealous that you are the first uh, entity to get your hands on the new Accuracy One Sea Salt from uh, Julian Sprung's Two Little Fishes. Uh, so kudos on that. And uh, this is such a great kit. You know, I have explained to people how to set up a marine tank so many times. You know, if a family member wanted to get into the aquarium hobby, I would point them straight to the Biota Aquarium. So on the flip side, you're also bringing in some livestock that's available to dealers. Uh, tell us about some of the captive bred animals that you currently have and will have in the near future. Yeah, that's super exciting. The Biota Marine Life Palau Nursery um, has been culturing the Rainford gobies, some yellow watchman gobies, the abtage eating file fish many people saw, um, and, and the green nephthia corals. But uh, we have coral beauties on the way. Wow, so this will be the first, yeah, first commercially available coral beauties. And we actually think that's going to be a great fish for the Biota Aquarium. So we're going to be testing different mixes and species mix as we expand. Of course, the mandarin fish have been doing really well. I know yours are fat and happy. I got a tiny, the first tiny pair uh, about the early summer. Yeah. Uh, Tom Bowling introduced them into my tank himself. Yeah. They are so fat, unbelievably fat. I never have to worry about them. They eat frozen calamies. I mean, they're just bloated. That's how much they eat. And a female, she looks like she's got a marble inside of her. <laughs> and I also had a small aphasia problem you know, in my uh, non-photosynthetic tank and uh, it was recommended to me to use a bristletail filefish, which I'd never done before, and he wiped them out just so fast. You know, it just looked, it took about a week, it looked like he wasn't even looking at the aptasia and then evaporated. But this is not coincidence, because you don't just breed these fish, you train them to eat aptasia, right? That's right, yeah, Tom uh, and Palau, my partner, He's uh, growing them on Aptasia, so they, they know exactly what it that, is. That, yeah, that, I didn't know that <laughs> when I first got my file fish from right. you guys. I threw, oh, there's no way he's gonna eat Aptasia. He's never seen one in his life. It wasn't until after he wiped out all the Aptasia in my tank that I learned that Tom is specifically trained him to eat Aptasia. So those are Aptasia killing machines. They are, they're ready to go. And, and besides the Coral Beauties now, we have Tridacna duresa and we're gonna have Maxima and Crisia next year. So he's quite busy over there, and I'm super excited about being able to bring that product to market to pet stores direct wholesale, wow. as well as in the Biota packages. Very cool. Um, so yeah, the first uh, captive bred, the only clam's gonna be coming out of Palau, uh, will be through Biota Aquariums very soon. Uh, the Biota kits are shipping in a couple of weeks. That's right, we start shipping the first ones from the crowdfunding campaign November 14th. We're doing a big Thanksgiving campaign. We have a quiz for people to learn about the ocean. We're giving awesome. a, giving away three aquariums December 1st and full fulfillment for Christmas. So Very cool. You guys are getting right under the wire for the holiday season. And uh, you know, if you have a family member that's interested in getting an aquarium hobby, I strongly you know, suggest that you consider this uh, this particular kit because it's the, the, the most complete all-in-one and you're a diehard hobbyist, so you have selected the best stuff to go into it. Thanks, so, Jake. Appreciate best it. Best of luck to you. Awesome. And enjoy the show. All right.